Welcome to Economics Week 18. So this week we're going to be exploring some key economic concepts. We'll delve into various aspects from the role of financial institutions as intermediaries to the characteristics of financial assets and the dynam dynamics of financial markets within the free enterprise system. So we're going to begin by understanding how different types of financial institutions serve as intermediaries between savers and borrowers. Financial institutions play a crucial role in facilitating the flow of funds between those who have excess capital, uh, that those being the savers, and those in need of capital, borrowers. Banks, credit unions, and other financial intermediaries act as conduits for this process, providing savers with a place to deposit funds, excuse me, to deposit funds and uh, offering loans to borrowers. These institutions not only help allocate resources efficiently, but also manage the risks associated with lending, contributing to the stability and functionality of the overall financial system. Moving forward, we're going to be analyzing liquidity, return, and risk within the free enterprise or free market system. So in the realm of finance, liquidity refers to the ease with which an asset can be bought or sold without affecting its price. Return represents the potential gain or loss on an investment, while risk measures the uncertainty or variability of that return. The free enterprise system allows for the dynamic interaction of these factors. Investors seek a balance between liquidity, return, and risk, making choices based on their financial goals, time horizon, and risk tolerance. This delicate equilibrium is essential for fostering economic growth and efficient resource allocation. We will be then shifting our focus to financial assets. So, we're going to be describing the characteristics of bonds in particular. Bonds are debt instruments issued by corporations, municipalities, or governments to raise capital. They represent a promise to repay the principal amount along with interest over a specified period. Key characteristics of bonds include fixed interest payments, a predetermined maturity rate, date, and the potential for capital appreciation or depreciation. Investors often view bonds as relatively conservative investments compared to stocks, providing a stable income stream while managing risk. So expanding our understanding, let's describe the characteristics of other types of financial assets. Financial assets encompass a wide range, including stocks, mutual funds, and derivatives. Stocks represent ownership in a company, entitling shareholders to a portion of its profits. Mutual funds pool funds from multiple investors to invest in diversified portfolios, offering a way to spread risk. Derivatives, such as options and futures, derive their value from an underlying asset. These financial assets exhibit various characteristics catering to diverse investor preferences and risk appetites. Finally, I'm going to briefly list four different types of financial markets. So, you know, financial markets serve as platforms for buying and selling financial instruments. And those would be, if you could excuse me for a second, we have primary and secondary markets. So the primary market, let's say when a company is going public for the first time, it sells its shares or its stock to institutional investors. Now, when institutional investors bring those stocks into the market, that's when we have a secondary market. So when one day, so if you uh, have a brokerage account and you're buying and you're selling stocks, this is known as a secondary market. The primary market, think of it as being institutional, while the secondary market, a little more retail, a little more accessible. Uh, it's a place where you don't need to be an accredited investor to actually invest in, say, stocks or bonds. We're also going to be talking about another two types of markets. 
Now, of course, there are more than four, but the ones that we're going to be focusing on are going to be uh, money market funds. This is where foreign currency exchange occurs. Uh, you've heard of Forex, a 24-hour foreign exchange currencies uh, trade, uh, trade uh, platform. And we're going to talk about uh, capital markets. Now, capital markets is a little more wide of a definition. It's a little more encompassing. But capital markets is a place where you go to raise money. Capital markets, you could have things being sold such as derivatives that we just talked about. Or dealing with, um, say, futures, which are used, for example, by farmers to buy, uh, let's say, certain supplies or crops at a certain future date at a certain price. So these types of financial assets and these types of markets facilitate trade and help create a genuine and strong free market. So I hope that this review was comprehensive enough, preview was comprehensive enough. I look forward to working with you all in class and to seeing you soon. Thank you.